This is the new active diffusion system from Luminarc. Hey everybody, Graham Mailer Sheldon here from CineD.com. I'm at NAB 2023 on the show floor at the Luminarc booth. Uh, about to talk about active diffusion here with Brian. How's it going, Brian? Good, doing well. I immediately get this and am very excited about it, but please demo what you have here because I, I'm, I'm already a fan. Yeah, yeah. Should we go through a demo right now? Yeah. Before? Okay. So you have 100% uh, here coming down to 1% right here. Yeah. So that would be 0%. So, I mean, ideally this is reading on my face, so let's go back to 100% if you don't mind. So this is all happening through a V-mount powered hand controller unit. Is that what you'd call it, Brian? That's right. Yeah, yeah. So this is our universal controller. Um, it works for all, well, both of our frames, which is the two by three and the 40 inch by 40 inch. Um, and right now this is the first variable density diffusion frame that exists on the market. So now I've seen um, I don't know if it's the same technology, but I've seen sort of active diffusion type tech from, for example, Xylite. I also see a lot of Xylite logos around here. Like, what's what's going on with that? Yeah, so so Xylite uh, is a sister company with us. Uh, it's owned by Ushio, and we have licensed the patent for this product, um, which allows us to make something like this. Uh, the difference uh, between the two is that we have the use patent specifically for this integration with a frame. Um, so we have a couple of companies in the industry right now, including Xylite, like Rotolite, um, who incorporate uh, a small piece of this similar material into their lights. Um, but the difference is that this gives you uh, the control um, to basically use this with other lights to create, you know, broader diffusion or beam spread, as opposed to having it affixed, you know, directly to an LED. Yeah, I mean, and with all the benefits that come from separating your diffusion just a little bit further from the light source, which yeah, yeah. is very, very cool. It also comes in uh, sizes that I sort of understand, like four by four, this looks like a frame I've seen before. Sure. I mean, how, how sturdy is the material itself? Because I have, I'll admit, treated some of my frames not as great as I should have sure. in the past. Yeah, so we, we built it really well. Um, so right now it's, it's built with steel, aluminum, and um, shock resistant carbon fiber. Um, so the corners are made from polycarbonate. Um, you have scratch resistant polycarbonate sheeting on the outside and everything else is steel. And we managed to keep it thin enough to where it's still lightweight. It's about 13 pounds for this frame here. Um, but yeah, that, that was the first issue coming into this with development. Everybody knows that uh, if you give a grip something within a couple days, it'll probably get dented or destroyed, right? That's not a reflection on my friends who are grips. It just happens sometimes. Right, <laughs> so it's, it's very sturdy. Yeah, we, we made sure of it. Now, can you tell me like what is actually happening here? You're running a current through this? Like what is the actual technology without giving me the secret sauce here, but what's no, actually that's totally fine. It's, it's a known technology that's been around for a while. Uh, it's called PDLC, which is polymer dispersed liquid crystals. And the idea is that you have two pieces of clear plastic um, that are sandwiching a piece of liquid polymer um, that disperse crystals throughout. And when you introduce a current to those crystals, um, they go parallel, which creates your transparent. So. Um, the default position is here. I can show you right now. If you go to 1% and then unplug it. Okay, so you just put, unplugged it? Yeah. Uh, it goes back to its default position immediately. So those, those crystals then scatter again. That's essentially what we're doing to create the diffusion effect. Interesting. Now, I, I mean, I've never asked the question, should I have any sort of like DMX control over a frame or any of that? Do I need something like that? Is that... Maybe I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that's up to the user. I mean, that's our number one question right now and something we're working towards. It's in the works right now, um, but having a control that is DMX compatible is priority number one for us. Okay, and uh, what, you have like a 48 watt hour battery on there right now, maybe? Uh, yeah, just about, yeah, 50 watt hour. Um, for this, so the, the material itself is very low power consumption, uh, which means with a, a standard 98 watt hour battery, you can, you can run something like this for about 30 hours. 30 hours yeah, at 50 watt? So we, we suggest that most productions just run with a battery all day because there's really no need to, to go through house power or anything like that. Now your, your V-mount only right now, I mean, of course, inevitably I'm a gold mount user. I could use an adapter plate probably or? You, you can, I mean, it's, it's native V-mount, um, but again, yeah, it's only mechanical. So you can basically throw on a gold mount, V-mount to gold mount um, and just run through D-tap and you're good to go. Um, and then so two by three version, four by four version, can you walk me through uh, pricing and availability of both versions right now? Yeah, so we're in the middle of manufacturing right now. Uh, we're accepting pre-orders. Um, we're out about 30 to 60 days is what we're saying uh, for pre-orders if you buy right now. 
Um, the 24 by 36 goes for $18.99 on the market, um, and then the 40 by 40 goes for $32.99. And, and what does that include? I mean, you get the hand unit, obviously, you get the uh, unit itself. Does it have a little carrying case or any of that? Yeah, it comes, it comes with a, a partial hard case. So it's a soft nylon case with a hard interior to protect the material. Um, comes with this, uh, your controller. Comes with a 10-foot cable, which is our Limo cable. Um, and then all of your various accessories for battery power. as well. Very cool. Now, when I talk about diffusion, I usually reference like numbers from particular companies, or I say it's like magic cloth, but this, can you compare the quality of this to anything out there? It, it is comparable. I mean, we, we like to say that active diffusion is its own kind of diffusion, um, but if you had to compare it at 100%, it's very close to Opal. I'd say as far as attenuation goes, so light transmission, um, you're achieving about 1.5 Opal at full diffusion. Okay, yeah, and if you're not familiar with Opal, softens light, uh, minimal uh, killing of stops, I guess I would say. I use it outside a lot for that reason. Yeah. It's very, very smooth. Um, I, I think it's I ideal for us. If we had to choose a diffusion to emulate, it would probably be Opal. Now, yeah. I mean, is it it's a standard four by four in terms of dimensions? Can I put grids on this and stuff or? You can, so we're, we're in the process of uh, creating a grid system for this, a sort of snap on grid that you can throw into this one and the small frame as well. Anyway, so Brian, the moment I saw this on Instagram a couple weeks ago, I was sort of immediately excited. It kind of, you know, it describes itself in a way. Obviously, I've used the versions that are embedded in various lighting instruments, some of which you mentioned. But for me, this is, you know, light fixture agnostic, and that's part of the reason I think it's so cool. So thank you so much for showing me around the Luminarc system. Well, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Cool. So that's it for us here at the Luminarc booth at NAB. 2023. Stay tuned for more continuing coverage from the show floor right here at CineD.com. Thanks, guys.